Hello everyone, this is Doreen and thanks for joining me today. I thought I would put together a little Christmas gift basket for a fundraiser. Uh, my daughter is involved uh, helping out Bella Smiles and that's an organization that helps support um, children with developmental disabilities in Uganda and some stateside here in the U.S. And so anyways, my daughter knows I make Christmas ornaments and she's like, Mom, can you get together a little basket for our fundraiser? And I was like, sure, sure. So I thought that would be a great time to share with you. Um, many times I've uh, given uh, little Christmas kits, um, especially for newlyweds. It's a great bridal shower gift. Um, it's a great um, gift for someone that's got their brand new apartment or their first place, you know, and when you're first starting out, sometimes you don't think about, you know, I need Christmas decorations. So, um, and it's, it's so special to have some special uh, pieces also. I know we can go over to the, our local box store and pick up a lot of our favorite things. And that's, that is nice. And uh, I do that too. Um, but it's just nice to have a little something special first off to start off um, your married life together or your new life in an apart fresh new apartment or home. It's just nice to have that homemade touch. So anyway, tonight I um, am putting together kind of you'll see the same theme kind of going around with the color scheme. I've got aqua. Um, like an aqua blue and a little bit of a teal in an earlier video i showed you these stars i made something very simple i always have on hand these wooden uh cutouts you can find them at any craft store and um i buy a bunch of them because you can do so much with it right and so i just kind of painted these put some iridescent paint on there put a little silver glitter and then I used a silver pipe cleaner and there you go. I glued it, hot glued, gunned it uh, to the back to have a little hanger. So I've got a few of these. I think I've got like eight of these to go in the pack. And then I did these angels. Um, they're with the styrofoam. I think I got them at the Dollar Tree. But anyways, I decorate it with a little iridescent paint and some little stick-on gems, and that was so simple. And if you maybe you can see a little bit of a shine there with the iridescent paint. Anyway, I also did a video on making those too, and then I found these cute little hooks to kind of give the little halo in there. And they're very lightweight, so I kind of light gems. But I thought that would be nice just to as a little filler. And I've got about six of those so <laughs> so yeah and then one of my um uh these are i call them a little more precious to me they're the clear glass and it just takes hours sometimes these kind of things are more of a labor of love just because you love to create and everything but anyway i'll put a little blue tool in there and they got some blue gems on that one. So we've got, like I said, the blue and aqua. Here's one in a um, kind of, I guess, a more turquoise type of little white tool in there. And then I've got a few of the silver. I've got, I've got three of those aqua. And then I've got six of the silver with a little sil silver tool and some silver gems on there. So anyway, and then I bought to add to it, I bought some store-bought things. I bought some tool. Isn't that pretty color? It's got nice sparkles in there. That's sold out. Somebody can weave it in their tree. And then I've got them a couple of rolls of iridescent uh, white um, ribbon with the wire. I like that a lot. I use that on decorating my trees and wreaths and such. And then I got these pretty, pretty sparklers. Now, it's not enough for a whole tree, but it gives them, you know, if they have a little tree or just a little inspiration. Um, we weren't meaning to decorate their whole tree, but just give them a little. Oh, they're so pretty. I just love that. It's like a little light aqua 
Um, and then these, these ones, isn't that a beautiful pop of color? So anyways, I was looking for a certain kind of box um, at Hobby Lobby and I didn't quite find what I wanted the other day when I went in there, but I saw something else that would work. Now I'm hoping this will work. Um, we'll see if I can showcase, I don't know with all these ornaments if I'm going to, but this is a nice height, you know, and you could do this like I said, I'm giving you ideas that, you know, you can do at home. Let's see if I can get that. But if you see how it sets, it kind of sits perfect and that would be great for the back. And then if that didn't work, um, I have this big gift box. And these are like $4.99, I think. I don't know if I even got them on sale, maybe. But I like these because, you know what? You could really use these so many. You get a lot of value out of it. Yeah, $4.99. It's a nested box. You know, when you see on TV, they're opening gift boxes. A lot of times they'll wrap the top and the bottom and they just lift it up. <laughs> kind of reminds you of that. It's nice and sturdy. It's nice and sturdy. It would hold, certainly hold all these and you, I might have to use it. Um, and this one was uh, $4.99 um, also. And I got that at Hobby Lobby. So let's try first. Oh, and I bought this filler. So I just bought some just decorative crinkle. I'm gonna open that up. And hopefully I can get away with just one bag. And then I bought another bag of um, some fluffy, fluffy snowflakes. It's not the, the glittery kind. So we're just gonna take some of this. I do have another bag in the other room if I have to and use it. And I think I will. It is so deep and I want things to sit closer to the top. So yeah, you see how it, even if I take this out, I mean, I can fluff it up a little bit. I forget how much that was. That was $2.99. And this was $2.99. Maybe I should have gotten two of these. Sometimes you can't always judge how much you're going to need. I, guess I, I think I'll need a scissors to open that. So here we are uh, in the middle of summer right now. <laughs> but I know this is when I start a lot of my Christmas decor. Because it takes, oh, oh, it takes a while. Oh, no, that's good. That. Let's see, is it going to be big enough? Let's fluff it out a little bit. Maybe it will. I'm just kind of tearing it apart. I do have, I also have, I think I have some other, like, other kind of snow. Um, I buy that, especially at the end of the season, if things are getting marked down, I'll buy the blanket drapes of snow. I'll buy um, sometimes the glittery snow or uh, there's this, but then um, actually this is the first time I've seen this, but there is another kind um, that sometimes I'll use on my Christmas trees. I can't think of what it's called right now, but oh, when I'm fluffing this apart, <coughs> it's making all the difference. I might get away with it. I hate to put six dollars, well I already am putting six dollars of filler in there, I hate to put nine dollars worth, right? But you do want it to look pretty. So I'm just shredding that out. <laughs> shredding it up. This reminds me one year when uh, my son and daughter are while we're getting married and they uh, my daughter-in-law is a graphic designer, so she wanted to design, do all the work and design stuff for her wedding. And uh, one night, I can't remember if it was the night before, it was certainly the week of, 
their wedding, we there was about five or six of us sitting in a circle on the floor, separating uh, the silk flower petals for the various things we're going to, you know, use it for down the aisle and such. <laughs> that was funny. Just we had a big pile of flower petals in the middle of the floor. It took us a while. I can't remember how long we were doing it. So anyway, let me show you kind of how it looks. I don't know. I feel like I got to shred it more. I just want it to be a more natural looking. I'm trying not to shred all the paper in it. I'm trying to keep the paper underneath. So you just got to pull it apart. I don't know. So here we go. What do you think? We'll see. So let's start with the highest ones in the back. So I've got, I think I've got four of these. So I'm kind of going to go just like this. If you can see, let me move my stuff over so you can see how I'm doing it. One, two, three. Really doesn't take much probably to get it all together. Together. So all the work was buying the stuff or making the ornaments. I was going to make a happy home to somebody. There we go. Oh, I love it already. Don't you love it? I love it. I love it. I love getting stuff like this too. I like homemade. I like store bought, but I like homemade stuff. A lot of talented people in our in our families, right? I know we have a lot of artsy people in our family. We have a lot of good singers too. <laughs> I bet you do too. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I don't know if the video shows the, I just, well, I'm loving that. All right, so, ah, I got a lot of stuff here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. All right, so I'm hoping to put these angels up against there, and I'm just going to put them all together. And we'll see. So I got them all stacked together, and I think I'm going to put them right here. They're laying, maybe I'll fan them out just the tiniest bit. Oh, what do you think so far? I might change it, but so far I'm liking it. I feel like that foam helps keep things in place. Now, this is going to be the tricky part, and we'll see how far I'm really going to get. So, let's see. Let's see if I can do. Oh, I want to put the aqua more in the middle, I think. So I still have these rolls. I have to figure out how I want to do that. Ah, it's tricky. So I kind of have to maybe go like this. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get everything in here. All right, let's try something else. I don't think that's going to work. Put two on here and two on here. Now let's. So this is what I'm playing with a lot. This is what's going to take most of our time. These ones that say healing. You probably can't see that. Let's see. You're probably watching this video going, you know, you should do. All right, let's try this. Another aqua. Maybe I could put one of these on each side here. I 
now. I might have to line them up. Because I can just stick out like that. As much as I don't really care for that. Now this will work. See how I've got it? I got one on each end. I'm just going to play with this. And let's see. Anyways, I'm going to play with this a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll see what I ended up with. So I switched to this box here um, and I ended up looking for, I did have uh, a bag of snow, it's, uh, that buffalo snow, it's kind of, I used this before for putting on my tree and putting on shelves and stuff. So I put that on the bottom and then I took this light and fluffy stuff and put it on the top trying to get some of that paper out of there still. So let's try that. <clears throat> so... I think I'm going to put these picks in kind of like, like this along the edge. Instead of laying straight up, of course, they're going to lay flat because we don't have the height here. That would be a nice contrast against the white snow. There we go. I'm thinking that will work so far. I keep knocking over my tool here. Let me go get it. It rolled, it rolled across the kitchen floor. <laughs> Let's put this over here. So I don't keep knocking it down. Then we'll take these blue picks. And put some in between here. This really should work. Now, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Doesn't matter what box it in, it's just pretty. I'll tuck some of that snow in there and I'll play with that a little bit later. <clears throat> so, lots of ways we can do it. Um, <clears throat> I'll see if I can put this in the front a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to start putting my ornaments. <coughs> I'm not sure where I'm going to put my angels yet, but I don't know. Unless I kind of go like this. But then they, I want to get these bulbs in here first. <coughs> so let's do blue, silver, <coughs> aqua. You can play with that snow a little bit so you're protecting the bulbs so they don't break in the transport. <clears throat> and a dark, another dark blue that says healing. We'll put that facing up. There we go. I think I'm still not going to have room for these. I might have to put them more flat up, right? <clears throat> Dark blue. <clears throat> and then we'll take silver. <clears throat> put these bowls behind here and that will hold that up a little and they can still at least see them so they can see what's in the gift package. snow out of the bag. Okay. 
Let's see. And one more aqua. I might have to put these more right up because I'm still not going to have enough space. Oh, I lost my hook. Go in here. Melt all the snow. Right. It's be tricky to find. I can just get another one and I'll have an extra hook in there. Oh, here it is. And where did that fall out of? Oh, this one right here. Oh, and one here fell out too. Well, I'm not going to search through that. It'll take me all night to do it. I will just get another hook. I had one somewhere here. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> there we go. Keep on the snow. Right now we got 12 ornaments there. Let's see if we can get So I've got in here what do I got? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. That might be all we can really get in there nicely. Maybe I'll put these stars in different places. I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put those angels. Something more. Be careful not to pull on these hooks too much because it is just a thin foam. And I kind of pulled on one a little bit too much, but at this point it's too late to work on that. So.
and just arranging these stars different way. And we'll see if this is going to end up being my final. Um, probably just put a little snow in here. Some more snow on this side. And on that nice one for Gary Rock. And I don't want these both breaking the transport. Let's see if I can fit the and I have two more ornaments, but they're just gonna be looking messy if I get it in there. So you know what I might Make sure I've got my best ones in there. Yeah. Wish I could get them all in there. I'm gonna grab a little bit more snow. Oh, can you see it? This way. I don't know. What do you think? And I'll probably play with this just a little bit so that it's exactly kind of, well, I don't think it'll ever be exactly how I want it, but close enough. Definitely got to put some snow behind that back row of balls because they're kind of playing it around a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you like it pretty satisfied with it um they're gonna put a clear cellophane the ones that are hosting the sponsoring the um event bella smiles they're gonna put some clear cellophane on there so <laughs> good luck putting it to them but i've got i'm gonna keep the lid on there here so it'll be nice and good and uh strong so and i'll play with this just a little just so i can feel confident when they're driving this to the event that it's not going to break. And I might even send them with a couple extra bulbs since I got two here that I couldn't fit in there just in case something mishap happens. So, so anyway, anyways, thanks for following along with me today. I hope this was a little bit of an inspiration. Let's give you a little idea of of a little gift, uh, holiday gift basket of ornaments and things for someone's tree. I was glad to do it and I had a lot of fun and I hope you have a good day. Take care and God bless.